It is a momentous gathering at the Custom Corporate Headquarters in Abuja of the retired management team of the members of Nigerian Customs Service who were celebrated with legacy of diligence and commitment. Controller General Bashir Adiwali Adini reassured retirees of comprehensive measures to elevate their welfare with a plan to integrate them into the Nigerian Customs Service healthcare programs. He emphasized his commitment to sustain bonds beyond active service. Shortfall is symptomatic of a broader system, uh, systemic challenges in the service overall welfare structure. This is a reality that we all actively acknowledge and pledge to comprehensively address in our ongoing commitment to service improvement. As I wind up this, I'd just like to talk about some of the efforts and some of the plans that we have and we pray that God will be with us in this implementation. In tandem with this commitment, Nigeria Customs Service has initiated a number of measures aimed at ameliorating the plight of our retired officer. The first, the provisions in the Gazette are currently undergoing a thorough review and exploration to enhance the welfare framework of retired officers. Additionally, and recognizing the urgency of addressing pensions concerns, discussions have been initiated with the Honorable Minister of Finance to sponsor a bill aimed at establishing a separate entity for the management of NCS Pension Fund Administration. The CJ further disclosed the ongoing discussion with the Minister of Finance to champion a bill establishing a dedicated pension scheme, stating that the strategic initiative reflects foresight in securing the financial future of the leaders within the Nigerian Customs Service. We will strive to enhance the welfare of our officers as we strive to enhance their welfare. We recognize the critical importance of prioritizing the healthcare needs of our retired officers. Your health is not only a personal priority, but a shared responsibility for all of us. We commit to ensuring that healthcare remains a central focus, providing you with the care and the support that you need. In his goodwill message, the immediate past Comptroller General of Customs urged Adeni to build on the foundation of his predecessors. Ali further urged all management and staff of the Nigerian Customs Service to support the present administration of the service for successful tenure. Little did I know that we omitted something big. And of course, we were late, having been through staff college, thanks to staff college, having been a student, and then the commandant has put in put on the thinking cap. And that has manifested to why we are here today. So I thank you for this innovation. It is a great innovation and I do hope and pray that it will continue to strive because it has given us the opportunity to not only meet but interact and also those officers that I have only seen their names on the board and in the books I have the great opportunity to see them face to face today. The reunion of the retired senior officers and the management staff of the Nigeria Customs is rooted to connecting the past, present and future of the Nigeria Customs Service. The high point of the event was the presentation of gift items and plaques for the retired senior officers. Kike Lomo Okeri, Global Television News.